In these problems, we're dealing with pretty run-of-the-mill algebraic expressions where we want to solve for a variable. In the first one, we're solving for w. But it's complicated by the fact that there are some decimals here. So sometimes that um, throws people for a loop. Let's give this one a try. There are really two ways to go about this. And the first way is just to work on this like it's a normal algebra and do your calculations with the, the decimals. So let's take a look at that. The first thing I see here is that I have um, like terms to combine. So 0.5w plus 0.6w. Well, if you add 0.5 and 0.6, you get 1.1. So that's 1.1w minus 0.02 equals 0.013. Now I just want to go forward getting the w term alone. So I'm going to add 0.02 and uh, just make sure we have our, our places lined up here so that it uh, works out. So this point, uh, 0.013 and 0.02 is going to come out to be 0.033. And over here, we've still got 1.1w. And finally, we will divide by 1.1, both sides. Of course, here it cancels, and you get uh, the w alone, which is what you want. And you can use your calculator, 0 0.033 divided by 1.1. And this equals 0 0.03. So there is our answer for the first one. Let's take a look at the second one. Now, I did mention that there were two ways, and I showed you the first way just there. Some people like to get rid of the decimals because they find them complicated and distracting. If you want to get rid of these decimals, all you have to do is multiply them away. As long as you multiply both sides of the equation by the same thing, it's still the same equation. In this case, this is an easy example for doing that. You have uh, tenths in each one. That's your, your sort of smallest decimal place. If you had hundredths or thousands, you'd have to multiply by something else. In this case, if we multiply by 10, we get rid of all the decimals. So we'll take this whole thing, multiply each term by 10, and we get negative 37x plus 18 equals negative 36. Now, we don't have to do it that way. You can just go ahead and subtract 1.8 from each side and then divide by a negative uh, 3.7. You'll get the same answer, or you should. But let's go forward and do it this way. Some people find this easier. So first, I want to get the x term alone. I've got this number term, this positive 18. So I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. I get negative 37x equals, let's see, that's negative 54. And then we're going to just divide by negative 37. My answer is going to be positive because it's a negative divided by a negative, so that's going to be a positive. And at this point, you might want to punch it back into your calculator rather than leaving it as a fraction. Since we started with decimals, reporting the answer as a decimal might be okay. And this rounds off to something like 1.46. So that's a little bit of work with algebraic equations using decimals.